Alright guys, here we are in Melee. <coughs> Looks like we are getting right into it with Melee Winners Finals. Not sure. Usually Eddie and Matt are a pretty good match. Yeah, they're doing a little bit of a hand warmer here. pretty good. As they make the transition from PM to Melee. I know actually uh, Seven and hasn't been playing PM today. Came a little bit late. Um, let's talk upsets. <laughs> We're not gonna see Lewis Kim in this bracket. PRZ's was knocked out by uh, Remedy. Who is Remedy? Kevin. Moxie. Oh, Moxie, yeah. Remedy. Dude, Moxie is... He is a beast, He's man. recently switched to Ice Climbers. Um, his desync shenanigans are definitely on point today. So. Really? He actually 2-0'd PRZ. Dude, that Natalie. is that is awesome. Yeah. I love seeing SD both games. Too, All right, it looks like we're low. getting right into it here. TSI Matt R versus Bird Seven in the Melee Winners Finals. Caught Falco Dittos. and an unfortunate suicide from Matt R just to start it off. Yeah, a little bit of working out that PM. Yeah, both of these guys have Johns about the TV. They claim that they feel like a little bit of lag, but they're literally the only two people who I've heard complain about it. Uh, I've gotten a little bit. It's not totally noticeable. I think the main thing on it is that it, it is HD input. I think, right? No, it's uh, well, it it gets converted through this, but like it still comes out at uh, 480p on the screen. Okay. Yeah. yeah I guess they might not be used to seeing such a um, clear picture. Yeah, honestly, that it's kind of like jarring too, just because like it's so the picture is or the screen is so big, yeah. and the fact that like. It doesn't feel like, I mean, it feels like CRTs to me because, like, it's mine and I play on it all the time. But, like, I can tell from, like, other people, like, if they always don't play on it, then, like, you know, maybe they may not have the same opinions, but... Right. We do have some music going on in the background. Dude, we got triple TSI representation on this stream right now. <laughs> <laughs> nice now, course um, master from Bert, 7 Ent. 7 Ent was, I was actually playing friendlies with 7 Ent earlier. He was re he was looking really strong. Really yeah, his, really his Falco is really, really tight. He's pretty on point today, so... Matt R has actually been playing Falco for the majority of both brackets, <coughs> Melee and Project M, only starting to do some character switches when he needed to uh, after the right. De La Soul Grand Finals. Definitely can see uh, he was he was foreseeing this matchup coming up, and he wanted to give Eddie the, the Falco ditto. Right. As we clean it up, two stocks apiece now. Both of these players are going to be taking it to each other pretty handedly, like... Uh, where they get their combos on the like, where they're just both gonna get theirs, and it's just a matter of who gets it first. It's like how is gonna like win the game. It's not really gonna be like a. This is really a body indicative game. of Matt R and Eddie's history. Yeah, they just really really know each other. They kind of just body each other. Yeah. yeah, they're 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 very used to each other's playing styles. They're very used to playing each other, so they they naturally just go for it. Yeah, like I would be very very surprised if Seven Eight came away with two stocks at the end of this one. I definitely right. see this going on the last stock, last hit. And like, that's that, that's the kind of gameplay that's great to see. Cause yeah. Who just whoever gets that shine? It's, yeah, it's it's whoever like whoever's playing better that day. Yeah, it's definitely what we see with the uh, five gods up at the top of melee. The potential of Leffen being on there too. I think he definitely is now. Right. It's a great option cover for that. Oh, gets yeah, the blazer. Nope. Oh, nice forward nice smash. All right, and like we said, it's going to come down to one stock apiece. Tight battle. Percentage does not really mean much in a Falco Ditto at all. <laughs> Basically, the kill move is going to come out and kill you at whatever percent you're at. Doesn't really I like need. that light shielding by Mad R on the platform. Yeah. A lot of a lot of Falcos will actually do that to escape some pressure. Yeah, you can actually get a little bit of an easier shield drop if somebody right. touches your shield with a light shield. Actually, um, that's actually not true. Well, I mean in terms of like, because you want somebody to hit your shield right. and then shield drop after it, so it's bigger so people can right. like hit the bigger target. Right. Not that the input is any easier, it's yeah. the same. Actually, the input buffer is like... 
six or seven frames more leading if you um, full shield. Really? Yeah. Oh man, I never knew that. Yeah, that's definitely uh, the PM experience coming into play here as there is no light shielding in Project M. Right. Oh, barely, barely fading un under those lasers. And we come, literally came down to the last hit. We came down to the last hit and Matt R, after that suicide, sticking with it and coming out with the victory. Definitely running off of his Project M momentum right now. Project momentum. That was so lame. <laughs> Dude, you know you love my puns. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm funny, man. Laugh. Jesus. Laugh at my jokes. All right, we go to Yoshi's story. My favorite stage to watch Falco Ditto's on. Just love Falco's control of the top platform on the stage. So crucial. There's a lot of hexagons oh. flying around. Yeah. Oh we got some double type going on. Ooh, over that's fun. Ooh. I love the idea by Seven Ed. Forward tilt and gets the down smash, taking that first stock, only 49% damage in the process. Actually, I was seeing some power shield, um, sh power shield, try not to shield by Eddie earlier. That's really nice which, technology. Which was admittedly amazing. 20, 20xx, and got that angled shield, putting it up high, avoid any kind of laser pressure and back airs. Those runoff lasers. Very risky option, but played nice and safe from 7 up. I like that reverse hitbox Oof. on that there. Gets the back air through the Shy Guy and Madar's face, taking a two stock lead here. Still holding on to that number one. Gets the reflector. That's he the stock. used the move like it was supposed to be used. <laughs> and he got uh, punished for it. <laughs> nice uh, dash tech to shine, immediately starting up those pillar combos. I like how oh Randall. I like how quickly uh, Madar responded to those lasers. Yeah, he didn't really miss a beat on pressing up B again. You know it's coming. Got that Falco Ditto going on. Right. As soon as you get sent off stage, you're gonna get try to try to shoot the opponent, so you know they're gonna try to shoot you too. Oh my God! Spot dodge. Double spot grabs. dodge shine. Nice back air. You got one stock left here on Matt R's live. Really? You guys plugged into the wrong ports. What's going on? Apparently, okay. Eddie has been red the entire time, and we've just been talking backwards because they don't know how to plug into ports! Alright, switch controller ports. Alright, so Matt R1. Yeah. Um, well, at least the score is correct now, so that's good. Yeah. So, to be, to correct ourselves, Eddie won the first one. That was Matt R. Yep, they have switched character ports, so now 7 and is his typical Red Falco, which we kind of should have seen because he always plays Red Falco, even though Matt R was repping it in Project M. Right. Alright, we're going to Final D. That Final D. Just popping a cap in each other's behinds. <laughs> what are they doing here? These full hop lasers covering that, all those options. Oh. Double up tilt. Oh, yeah, and he's really here. mixing up a lot of different options. Yeah. Like Azen. Oh, catching that second laser, but man, are still making it back to the stage. All right, shine out of shield to punish that unsafe dash tech on shield. Yeah, this, oh, is, this is just fantastic melee. Oh my god, these these guys are playing totally on each other's levels right now. There's like nothing that needs to be said about either of their right. skills. It's just straight mind games, straight getting that first hit and taking it as far as possible, knowing that your opponent is going to be doing optimal DI and getting out of it. It's Even, really just who messes up first. Yeah, it's like the, the perfect play. Getting clipped with that laser. Oh, he gets the read he, he that reads that roll. Straight F smash. We got three stocks of Eddie, Eddie did the very rare scrub roll, though. <laughs> yeah, he did. We got shines, we got down airs. Shines and down airs and lasers. 58% damage. Oh man, what's going on? We got some flutter hush. Oh, great lasers. Oh, wow, that was like some nipple dare. <laughs> That's not a thing. Dude, it definitely is a nipple thing. Nipple hitbox is not a thing. Yo, he hit him with that jacket straight up. I saw it. It was like as disjointed as the dare gets, like close to them nips. Oh my god. Oh, barely jumps over that laser. 
Yeah, I really hope they just go Falco Dittos this entire time. Yeah. Mix it up on the grand final. Great finals. melee to watch. Yeah. I think Falco is my favorite melee character. <laughs> It's all because of Dr. BP though. <laughs> I think um, my favorite to watch would probably be a great Marth. Oh my god, definitely. Yeah. I, even Dart, like not even like top tier Marths, but just Dart, like no, just Dart great is Marths top. In general, just look on top of their game. They make the game she look so there. fluid. She's gonna be down just a very solid way of playing the game. Yeah, Mad R is quite definitely run away from this. Yeah. They tied it up three socks apiece, and Seven just unable, quick, unable to capitalize anymore. <laughs> I've got some soul searching. Potential character counter picks. Potential stage choices. We got no bands here in this best of five. Dude, you like this PM prize pot money? Is that yours? Yeah, it is. You can buy like one McChicken now since they're more than a dollar. <laughs> so garbage. <laughs> Shoutouts to McDonald's. Raising the price of McChickens, making it totally unaffordable. McDonald's has the highest protein to dollar ratio in the world. Huh. What are we talking about? We're, this is melee. Dude, we're like waiting right now. What's going on? Figure it out, bruh. Oh, Marf. We're seeing, we're seeing Semprint's Marth. Marth. Alright, we come back to Final Destination here. Potentially the Final Destination of this set, if Matt R takes this one. But Seven, I definitely think he can do it with the Marth. Gonna get some Muta King combos with the Muta King skin. I haven't really seen Seven's Marth today. I, I know his Power Shield game is very on point, which yeah, is why he might be comfortable. After. That was a great tipper. Yeah. Power Shielding good option coverage, lasers good option coverage. is Marth is like a uh, textbook, like things to improve on in the lab. Right. Once you just get into that methodical timing, get like the Power Shield, wave dash out, shield <laughs> forward, like start causing a lot of, or uh, neutralizing a lot of that pressure. Does he still have his jump? Oh, he used it with that. Misses Rise the Marth killer. killer. That's really unfortunate. Seven inch Marth on that ledge, looking yeah, very, very now, comfortable. Now he's just gonna build up some net unnecessary extra percent credit. Yeah. Could have been avoided. Dies off the top to that back air, perfect di. Oh, nice, gets him with that raw grab, but Matt R finding his way out. Lots of really nice shield pressure here, Seven and getting out with the shield grab again, but he's getting these up throws, but no real follow-ups. Trying to see some up tilt or potentially a re-grab, I think is what he's going for. There's a lot of subtle ways that Madar plays that kind of just forces throw the, you off. Forces Seven to kind of choose worse options. Yeah, he's really good at uh, applying pressure with full hops near right. you. Definitely does that with Captain Falcon a lot, and Falco is a character that can uh, exploit that even more. Coming in with these late dares. Oh, falling back here to dash attack. Oh, would like to see an up tilt there. Kept that combo going. Power, power shield. Yeah, up to the up throw. Trying to get that tipper up smash, but Matt R dodging. Yeah, he, he saw that tech in place. What is that? What? Wow, Barely down. misses the timing. A lot of times it's like the hard conversions that a lot of people end up missing. Matt R is like how to shine right now. Oh, not tipper there. Falco gonna be living at 155% and it's starting to get to that point. Ooh, the That was like oh, almost it wasn't like was a tomahawk. So slick. Yeah, it wasn't like a tomahawk. He just kinda like ran through his shield and then got the back throw or like wave landed through his shield. Well, I guess that was down throw. More fares. As you go situation here, doesn't get the Marth Killer though, as Seven and coming in with that fair, but unfortunately not enough space with the up B to come up after it. I could see Eddie taking this to game five. Oh definitely. I've, I've seen him come back from way worse than this. We got up throw. Oh, nice punish here. I mean, oh. there, there's a reason why his tournament results have been so consistent. Yeah, he, him and Matt are definitely the models of consistency here in Champagne. I don't think there's anybody else who really places in the top three as much as they do in Melee. Oh, barely missing that fair, but gets caught by the jab. That's an interesting jab. Yeah, it was like a reverse edge guard. Yeah, kind of looks like this is it. 
Let's play close out here. Ooh, nice. Opts to not to fast fall and grab the ledge. Line. Goes out with that back air. Definitely so some high definitely, IQ definitely play. Showing some... What? <laughs> what are you... Looking like you two, King. <laughs> Just gonna wait on ledge. PMBR, please. That five ledge grab limit. That's not it yet. Still got his jump. Oh, wow. Marth Killer would have killed there, but that back air does the same thing. Matt R taking it 3-1. Yep. Seven net knocked down two losers finals as we wait for the bracket to progress. And who do we see coming up next? What? It should be... Um, I think we got the bracket here. Let me take a look. What the heck is this doing? All right, we got Burt Grouch versus 14K. I think they're playing already. They played already? All right, then it's uh, Moxie versus whoever. They're playing over there. Off stream. Yeah, we have a doubles match we can play on stream. 